Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Get rid of my little notification. All right. Well, we'll be ready to start here in a moment. Uh, Mary stepped away for a moment. She should be back at, well, any moment. So we'll just sit here and wait for her. Well, I may actually log in so I don't get kicked out once I get logged into my streams. Um, I know I should have already done that, but I was feeding my face. Excuse me. There we go. I'll go ahead and log in. Or, yeah, log in. Because <clears throat> the game, is, I mean, I'm not sure how long you can be idle in the game before it kicks you out. It's a little bit, it's longer than five minutes, I believe. But in the uh, character selection screen, you've got five, like roughly five minutes. I'll pull this back up here so I can finish my last chimichanga. And we'll wait on, like I said, we'll just wait for Mary. When the stream's open, Mary. Good morning. <laughs> I I was t I've talked about you. I said you'd stepped away. You'd be back in a minute. What I was gonna say is, depending on how how you're feeling, that's you know what the stream is dependent on. But anytime you don't, you feel like leaving early, then we will end the stream early. It's as simple as that. Yeah, probably not going to be very talkative today. Um, my mouth is quite painful at the moment. <laughs> and I still look like a hamster with an orange in one cheek pouch. <laughs> well, why don't you just stuff an orange in the other cheek pouch and that way you'll at <laughs> least sit even. I'm sure you probably have one head cocked to one side. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm logged in. Okay. Yeah, I am as well. You are. Stay with me just a moment. Uh, yes, I am. I may not be on the same layer, mm. but I am logged in. Just trying to Ooh, adjust well, the go. stream volume so I don't get you twice. Obviously, Ooh. I, can, I can hear you from the Discord. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Please don't move. That is sweet. Look in the uh, in the stream. Yeah, yeah, that that's a cool mask. That is cliche. That looks awesome. I know. Yeah. I'll be. And look at the the, the armor is pretty cool paper. too. And they've got a top. They've got a t uh, title: Black Morrow's Bane. Don't know what that is. Maybe we'll. No clue. Oh, it maybe it's something having to do with this area. So if that's maybe the case. Maybe we'll find um, out. Right, would you like me to invite you to a team then? Sure. Right, and just about to fill face with That's right, I've been filling my face with chimichangas. I'm just going to mute myself for a moment.
my silly mute button would not come off. Your what button? My mute button. Oh. Whoa. Oh. I was wondering what that was. Give me a second. Um, um, apparently, Mary had a... Little lamb? Um, Mary oh. with an E. Mary had a uh, party night that maybe went a little bit wrong. Uh-oh. I was just turned into a skeletal humanoid crow. saw that. I went to... The, I meant the... Store, because I want to see. Oh wow! Stand. <laughs> you can buy right now. You can buy the Elder Scrolls Online Standard Edition for eight bucks. Seriously? Okay, fine. I bought some crowns, so now I'll just wait a minute for uh -huh. for it to kick in. Yep. There we go. All right, let's see. What was I after? <clears throat> um, oh, I know what I was after. It's got to still be here. Let's see. I was definitely buying that. The Kelgaranteed statue. Yeah. Um, I think I'm, let's see.
was that? Inventory. <clears throat> oh, that was that potion I picked up. <clears throat> I can't wait to be able to put... Oh, that's a courtyard, a courtyard item. So that's going to be big. Yeah. Which is perfectly fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. I just don't have a place with a courtyard. Yet. Okay. Uh, oops. I'm buying 15 crown crates. Or actually, they weren't crown crates. Whatever. Iron Atronaut crates. Because I want to see if I get anything good. <clears throat> So this is some, this is something new that the that I haven't done in stream yet. As you can see, I bought I bought crowns and then I bought these crates. So there's well, there's stuff in them, and there could either be four or five items. So, and you can see I've got fourteen crown gems, and I would like to get some more of those if possible. But let's start with that. Start with this. Right, and I always open all of them or reveal all of them. Ooh, gems. Congratulations. Mm, I got writing capacity. I got 25 uh, crown lethal poisons and 10 uh, gold coast survivor elixir. Whoopie doo. <laughs> got a cat. I didn't buy as many crates as you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I see. There's a purple. Let's see what that is. No. I got this. I got these sabatons twice already that gave me uh, uh, crown gems. And then I got a major Gold Coast experience scroll. And then I got uh, tri restoration potions and debilitating poisons. How about giving me a fifth card, Dingus? Oh, well, I got the boar. I got the gold spine boar, non-combat pet, which is the one I really didn't want. <laughs> got a crown mimic stone and some poisons. Are you ready to reveal my <sighs> Let's see what we got. Well, got the pauldrons. The Knight Aspirant, or however it's pronounced. And then I got Poison, Experience Scroll, Writing Capacity. Select your rewards, my friend. Jeez, he hasn't given me a fifth card yet. Reveal all. Spicy Soup Emo, too, and friend. three different types of poisons. Make a selection to Ooh, reveal that was rewards. gold. In case any of you were wondering, is it worth it to buy these crowns, these crates? And not really. <laughs> I mean, if you've got, I mean, if you've got the money to just spend, go for it. I mean, don't let me tell you not to. Just to me personally, I get more of this other stuff that I don't want. I get a ton of it. The poisons, the other potions and stuff. I, that you get a lot of. And it gets kind of annoying. Let's see what we got. Nothing worthwhile. Yeah, it's a grand Gold Coast experience scroll. And then I got, what, Survivor Elixir, Lethal Poisoned, and a Stout Magic Liqueur. All right, next one. Come on. Your rewards are ready. Most excellent. Oh, I got the, I got the Waston or Waston? Coral Dale Mud Crab. Uh, two different types of experience scrolls and poison. Jeez Louise. Choose a reward. Come on, tight tail. Loosen up a little bit and give me a fifth one. I can't believe you've not got fifth card yet. Huh. Oop. Nice. I got the. Uh, I got the Hajmoda. Hajmoda. Yep. Nice. I'm uh, not sure what I've got. Two poisons and dark heart beguiling agony die stamp. 
Alright, let's see. Yeah, like that. Select your rewards, my Jeez, friend. nothing. Hmm. Got the girdle. Uh, survivor potions, or elixirs, more poison, another experience scroll. <clears throat> Here comes my tenth K, uh, crate. Took you long enough. It took ten crates to get that fifth card. Jeez. Hopefully it's something good. I'm just going to jump in and Those say Crips possibly not got the average look on these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it comes to these, I'm Bob. <laughs> yeah. I did get another mud crab, so they gave me uh, gems. I got the Morag Tong spatter lenses, which I don't know when I would ever use that. Poisons, Survivor Elixir, Experience Scrolls. Is jealous of your good fortune. I am now just going to tell you what my luck on these crates was. Mm -hmm. I picked up only four crates. Two crates had a fifth card. You stink. <laughs> what did we get? Okay. I've got a crochet emote, apparently. Because I already had one. They gave me uh, gems for it. Uh -huh. I'm, oh, I'm a, that must... I think in that that must have came with the... Uh, with the uh, D, the uh, the uh, DLC. That's the only thing is... I would not have bought that on purpose. Uh -huh. Oh, another one. Alright, well, let's see what we get this time. Ooh, Iron Atron Atronaut Guar... And I got the gauntlets for the Knight Aspirant, so I've almost got that whole Knight Aspirant outfit, which whoopty freaking do, but okay. Alright, we've got three more. Let's see what's next. Make a selection to reveal your rewards. A marvelous reward. Okay, Look well. at those gems. Quite valuable. Quite valuable. Two more cr crates to Here's open. already had that, so you got gems instead. Very nice. Very nice. Well, last one. Your rewards are ready. Oh, I got the Necrom Ghost Gazer Cat. He is sure yeah, you I got that in the first good. crate. And all you mm. need is a crate. You can purchase one from the store, and then we can begin. Alright, let's see if there's a... One recommends that you purchase a crate from the store. Let's see, I'm gonna... Let's see. So just give... Let me see. Okay, let's see. I can hear him in the background going, <clears throat> it's like, oh, hush. <laughs> I never use these. What's the warrior do? Increases stamina. Oh, that's a stamina one. I don't care about that. Debilitating poison. No, that's lame. Spellcaster. I never use uh, anything to grant to get my uh, magic back. These precious gems can be Let's see. Enfeebling poison. Nah, I'll just use the regular poison. The crown lethal poison. That's the one I'm going to keep. See, Major Gold Coast is 100% 100, 100 experience points for one hour. Gold Coast is 50% for one hour. What is that? Oh, Magic of Recovery. Grand is 150 experience points for one hour. But I could get some good 
some good uh, crown gems for that. 132 for four of those. Let's see, trapping poisons, we'll get rid of that. These gems can be traded yeah. for special rewards in the store. Alright, so now I have I have 241 crown gems now. Alright, so now I'm gonna step over here and find the crown gems. Actually, that's below the uh isn't that below the uh yeah, where it actually says crown gems, huh? Or crown crates. Should be below that. So I... So yeah, I have 241. Oh, man. Not enough to get the uh, Iron Atronach Polymorph. That's 400. Let's see... What is that? Deadlands? Something, let's see, preview. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I thought. Let's see. Okay. That's kind of scary. Let's see. So if I want the if I want the knight aspirant helm, I have, looks like I have I'm probably gonna have to end up buying it. Um, it's available in the superior rewards for sixteen crown gems. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's just uh just the uh, looks like a cloth helm. There's two up higher, in the epic. Rewards. One's, one's called a courting helm, and the other one's called a tourney helm. They're both 40 each. Uh -huh. And I still need the Curus, too. I can get that for 16, because I haven't seen it anywhere else. But I. I oh, and, and I need the Greaves, too. Let's go to the bottom here and see. Okay, that's stuff I didn't want. I already bought the. Didn't I already buy. I think I bought all those, didn't I? Oh, no, I did not. Oh, yeah, but it was Red Diamond Red. I didn't like Red Diamond Red. I didn't think it was dark enough. Well, I mean, not on him. On uh, Raven. So above that, what was I looking at? Well, the, the only, there's only one uh, pet I uh, that I don't have of the real cheap ones, and that's a, that the Dova fly. Then there's that goat. And there's that jelly. I definitely want the jelly. I'll purchase the jelly. Gotta have the jelly. Um. So I'm down to two. I have 200. I just want to see. What is that? Why is it? Okay, it did have horns. A nightmare Firestalker Cub. <laughs> um.
Well, if I decide to get get anything else, I'm thinking probably the Hist Soko. I might get that that skin. And that's a hundred. And then I might get the Deadlands Chandelier. I'm not sure. I kind of would wouldn't mind getting the Brimstone Nixid. You don't like Nixids. No, I don't. But this one looks cool. <laughs> I'll worry about it. I'll worry about it later. Okay, let me just get off of here and go to my notifications. Okay. Jeez. No, oh, I was going to say, I have a flying pet? It's like, yeah, dummy, you just bought a freaking jelly for crying out loud and you don't remember? Jeez. There's the mud crab. Domestic. Domestic will be the cat. Okay. More notifications. The shoulders. Yes, I know. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's a signature piece. Okay. That's helpful because it'll tell me where it's at then. Signature pieces are always at the very bottom. Okay, so I have the spicy soup emote. I wonder what that. Would it let me do that? No, it said link it in chat. I don't want to do that. show you it um in a minute oh weird <laughs> so it says naru virian says when you take out a target these morag tong style goggles will keep spattering blood out of your eyes so you can see your way clear to make your escape when the local guards come after you it All looks right. looks weird i'll keep them off for just the mo for just a moment when i i'll wait till i get back in game and see what it actually looks like uh -huh. oh that's the uh, that's the mount so we'll make him default let's see supplies Spicy beet salad. Do you have that recipe? I believe I do. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. He looks like he's blind. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Don't you think? A little creepy. <laughs> and then there's this. Oh, I was going to show you my uh, kitty. But I forgot to. And I hit the wrong button. Um, flying. And what one was it? Start. Yeah, there we. There it is. The tourmaline jelly. See, isn't it pretty? Uh huh. I can't. I can't get it into the screen really well. All right. Um. Well, we've spent a, <laughs> a 
a half an hour. <laughs> just kind of being in the store and whatnot. Okay. That was definitely spicy. That was definitely spicy. Uh, I picked up a few things as well. I have the dragonfly. Oh, the, do the what did they call that? Dova fly or something like that? Dova fly. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, da -da -da -da. Gee, I wonder if I can pull the wings off of it. <laughs> Yep, because there it, it it's gone now. <laughs> Replaced by the goat. I got that one from the crate. Mm. Um, I got the piggy. Do you have the piggy? No. I'll show you the piggy. Oops, wrong button. Um, I got that in the crate. That would probably be domestic. Dog, cat, cat, sheep, hound, cat, mud crab, pony, pony. Nope. Um, I guess exotic? Yeah, gold spine boar. His name's Charmer. Why, I don't know. Because he's a charmer? He can't be. He's a pig. A oh, pig. I can kind of see why he might be a little bit of a charmer. What? I'm going to... Oh, can you still see him? Watch the way he walks. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to head down that oh, other end. He's rolling on his back for me. No, he's just... He's sniffing. Or he's rooting right now. He's eating something. But watch how he how he runs. Watch his head. He's like it's hard, hard to see in the dark. Let's see. Oh. He's almost Oh, he did run that time, but he was almost strutting. Or already. Oh, there he there he was strutting. Yeah, he he struts when he doesn't um, have to run. I got the kitty as well that you got. The ghost oh. necron. Uh-huh. Uh, necron ghost gaze. <clears throat> Makes you wonder if that's all the cat does. Just stares like that in one spot just to freak you the hell out. Uh, so far for me, it's uh, done the stare and it's done the... Oh, it's just done the sit for me and washing its paws. Mm. It's also done the stalking little wiggle. Uh -huh. Hasn't played with any butterflies yet. I don't think the domestic cat forms do. <laughs> you know what I you know what I want. Is making my mouth sore. Oh, I know a uh, d I know a cat um, pet I want from that meme that we were that we were talking about the other day. I want the uh, stares into the abyss cat. <laughs> Yep. Is yeah. Yeah. God, he looks so creepy with those things on. And they all, I mean, the metal around the lenses almost match his skin color. Yeah. So in the right light, it just looks like he's got glowing greenish eyes for some weird reason. Yeah. I, I don't think they actually display well on the Argonian skin. Well, if, I think it just depends on what color their skin is. No, because you can't see the, the bit across the nose either. Mm. And then the actual item has, you should be able to see the nose piece, the ocular pieces, and the straps. Ah. Uh. I think that one could do, could do some work. Yeah, it almost looks like it's just like he's a Borg. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. I don't know what my pig is doing over there, but he's eating something. Well, we can uh, do. Should we get to question? Yeah, I was just getting ready to say we can do whatever you're ready to do. Do you have uh, 
an unexpected adversary is your shown quest? You do? I do. Okay. Excuse me. So we can do that or we can do um, whatever you what you feel like doing. Oh, yeah, my pig's on his back. I'm just going to change my pet. So if we're going out into water or swampy bits, I think the harsh mode might like a like some time out there. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I'll keep my pig out for a little bit. I'll probably swap him out for something sorry. else. I like that pig. I'm tempted to buy it. Believe me, if I could have give if I could have given it away, I I would give it to you if I could. Ooh, uh -huh. My ear itches. Mm, brain fleas. Got to remember when I get uh, next stream, I want to try. Remember, I told you I wanted to try um, those dyes on uh, Raven's outfit. Uh -huh. It's gonna suck because one way or the other, I'm spending a die. That all that all red one, I'll be I'll be using one way or the other, yeah. and then I may have to, you know. I'm hope I'm really hoping that I'll be able to just go back and darken the uh um the black. Yeah. Are you spoken to this person yet? Where are you? Pickpocketing. Who me? It's like, well, I can't, I um, haven't done Star Dark Brotherhood yet, so I, I couldn't um, Blade of Woe him. But uh, yes, I did. You speak to Tessia. Oh, we are? Okay. Well, I've already done this one. Oh. Wait, 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 we talked. We talked to her with someone. Yeah, all the ones. Oh, okay. You want to marry your dead suitor? Well, why not? I've had absolutely no luck with the living, and it's what he wanted. I'd rather die a widow than an old maid. I like her outfit. I think I. I think it would look just as nice in a kind of a darker blue instead of that red. Of course, you know, I, I like blue. That's why I said that. But I think with darker colors, it would look good for just about anything. It would look good with a dark purple. I think it would look good with a dark green. I'd like it just all black. Black, it probably would look good, too. Well, let's see. Uh, I can't argue with that. It's not like this is how I dreamed of getting married. But after being jilted so many times, I may as well marry a man who can't change his mind. You may not get it. But for your sake, I hope you never have to. Well, have fun marrying your corpse. That sounded weird. Weirder. It is weird. I mean, people have, you know, you know, married amusement park rides, so I guess marrying your, your dead suitor isn't, yeah. you know, people have married trees. And I'm talking real life, folks. I'm not talking video games. I'm talking real life. You don't believe me. I mean, you just Google it. I think there was there was one that I saw a video for. I don't... I think she divorced it. <laughs> she married a building. I don't remember what kind of building it was. Alrighty. Yeah, I think... I can't... I think she ended up getting divorced later, too. I don't know. Maybe the building wasn't putting out or something. I don't know. Maybe she just wanted the alimony. <laughs> yeah. That had to have been it. Hmm. 
When I met the building, they told me that he would give me all the wood I could possibly want. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that's lovely. Mm -hmm. Then come to find out it was made out of brick. Where are we headed? Blood Run Cave? Long, long way. So I'm going to... Uh, oh yeah, Blood Run Cave is way the heck. We're gonna... You know what we could do? Let's see. Well, how... I'm trying to see. Um, oh, what do we... So... What 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 are you wanting to do? That's right there. Show okay. Some scenery. So we're gonna ride east. And my knee mount. Yeah, ride all the way east and then to the north. Two mounts in my crates. Ah. I could just see here in about, you know, a couple more weeks, but you know, Bethesda's gonna make make an announcement. Due to what we thought was a great idea coming up with these iron atronach mounts and skins and polymorphs and stuff, but one thing we didn't look into was the possibility that now all of Nern is on fire. I'm gonna be this is beautiful scenery. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be saddle sore when this is over with. You are. Let me let me uh, ride behind you. So you can see how rough of a ride yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of rough. Mm-hmm. And that's a uh, guara track. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what, what the other one was I got. One sec. Well, I guess I could, you know, if ever he doesn't go where I want him to, I could just tell him that his brains are nothing but molten metal. And I wouldn't be wrong. That's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Was that a wolf? Yeah, that's the one I wanted, and I ended up with the one that I wanted the least. No, I'm, oh. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the guars as mounts, just because of, well, how rough they ride and how the, how weird they look. I okay. I will share your discomfort. <laughs> I knew if I waited here long enough, I'd find you. Oh, who, 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 where, what? Where? Uh. What the hell? You heard him too, right? Oh, yeah, there he is. The adoring Adamira. Oh God. I'm gonna talk to him. It's you. It's actually you. My friend said you were a story, a myth, but here you are. It, it, it is you, right? The hero of Tamriel, the slayer from the legend. It has to be. You look just like the paintings. Can I help you? Can you help me? A famed warrior is asking if I need help. This is what I've always dreamed of. I, um, don't have any dangerous things going on right now, but I'm sure I could find myself some trouble to get into if you'd want. I didn't say that. No, no, it's all right. Listen, what would you rather fight? A pack of lions? Perhaps a vicious troll? I'm sure I could find one nearby. Oh, it should be more than one. Give the bards a good song. How does a dozen trolls sound? Would you like to go fair with your partner over that one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put. Yeah, sure. You go and do that. <laughs> My friends are going to be so jealous. Alrighty. Oh, the fabled hero, come to rescue little old me from a vicious band of trolls. I can't wait. And don't take too long. The anticipation will kill me. I'm not sure this was going to kill you, but. Sure. This is going to be great. 
Just wait until I tell all my friends back in Bravo. Well, that was easy. Um you do realize that is a that character there that's a uh what do you want to call it not a not an easter egg what is what is it um ref kind of like not a ref reference well kind of there's there was a character i think he was called the adoring uh fan or the adoring admirer in uh um Oblivion. Uh, and let's let and I was gonna say, um if you took um Heimsker, you know, from White from White White Run uh -huh. took him and mixed him with Cicero and multiply that by ten on the annoying scale that's your admirer. Alrighty. People hated this guy because he was, well, he was called like the annoying admirer for a reason. He was really, yeah. really annoying. And people wanted to kill him. I, I only played Oblivion a little bit, so I didn't get to have to, I never actually ran across him, but I've seen videos. And people just despise uh, this guy, I think, he, I can't remember what race he was. I think he was Elvish. Like, like this one. Yeah. And he was really happy, excited, like this one was, so, yeah. It didn't start, it didn't start a quest either. He just ran off. No, he's off to be eaten by trolls. And yep. we're not going to the same. <laughs> we're going the exact opposite direction. No, we're going in the same direction. Oh, are we? I thought we were going the opposite direction. Yeah. Same did direction. You, what did you see? A barrel. Oh, what's in the barrel? Oh, grapes. <laughs> what was that? What? Oh, a Sahaj motor. Yes, he's right there. He's very tiny. That one isn't! See, you get out of line just one time, and that's going to be you, only smaller. <laughs> hey, I'm just laying ground rules. That's all. Just laying ground rules. The rules are, you screw up, turtle soup. Rough ride, rough ride, rough ride. Oh, there's a, uh, Aelid well. Do we want to... Go and discover it? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ugh. You can uh, arm me. Um, go ahead. I don't even remember what it does. Ah, that one extended uh, my health. Yep. There's some iron ore behind me. I was going to say, if it ends up being a guar turd, I'm going to be very upset with you. Well, you said it was behind you. I just oh, thought it was, like, directly behind you. I'm laughing 
hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd you see? You were way for way from it. You were probably a good six feet away. Yeah. I was going to say, did you just slap your guar on the butt just for the heck of it? Yeah. <laughs> Looked that way because you smacked him and he just sat there like, you know, thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> what was that? Crocodile? Oh, no. That's one of those death hoppers. I saw Death Hopper. We want to get the Death Hopper. There was two of them. But yeah, we can. We haven't fought hardly anything. I love the way you sound when you when you uh, try to speed up your your There's your mouth. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> There's three. Yep. I don't see a third one. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm going to go after this one because he's kind of by himself. Yeah. I was just about to aggro one of the other ones. I know I'm not going to be able to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might be able to sneak up on one now. Now that lightning's from you, right? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that they're they don't have some really really weird lightning death thing that they pull off. Because all three of them died with you know there was lightning going on when they died, so that's I was pretty sure I was almost positive it was you, but you just uh, never know. Yeah, that is Regis Fury. Ah. Using that alongside Daedric Curse. <laughs> you heard it too, huh? Yep. Because <laughs> I could hear it and I saw you veer off. I'm like, yep, she heard the nerd root. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to color these these goggles. Maybe. I'll have to remember the next time we're in a town with a clothing station. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, did you see something? Yeah. I was looking for it. I've not seen it. Ooh! Anything. I want to try to get close to it to see. Argonian behemoth? Yeah. Holy shit. It's like somebody miniaturized Godzilla and mixed it with a fucking pit bull. Because you see the way it walks with its, uh, with its elbows out. Yeah. Like a pit bull. Uh -huh. I'm a. Uh, uh, Go stop it. I'm afraid. Stuffy, stuffy. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> he's also very D dead. Yeah. Oh. Of all the places to land, he lands with his head in the freaking flowers, so we can't see what he looks like. Oh well. I'm now that there's one. Sorry. That's because that's I'm chaotic good. I, I, I let him sniff the flowers as he died. What 
What's that? Oh, just stuff. A backpack with a pewter ring in it. A book. Uh, looks like a journal. And... Are those... The way they're looking, are they actually joined together? They, they do look to me. Because look at the way he, this body is holding a pair, and they look exactly the same. I think they're binoculars of some description. They look like a... No? I think they are pipes, because if you look at the body, there's um, black dots along the sides of them. Like, fin like finger holes. The one by one, the pair by the backpack does not. Huh. Hmm. Oh well, where are we headed? Hang on, I just heard. I just heard somebody talking. I heard someone. Uh, Something. Oh, There's a uh, copper in here. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh, probably one of those violent flowers. It is. Let's see. I know I heard someone. I see a quest marker ahead. Must be him. Because I know I heard somebody. Lounges on moss. Well, that's Argonian. Let's see if this is the person I heard. Leave it to an outsider to bring a curse down upon a sacred shrine. No. That definitely was not the person I, I, was, I heard. But I'll talk to him. Wait, egg friend. If you're headed to the shrine to pay homage, you might want to reconsider. Niswo Somars and the Keepers have their claws full this day. Outsiders have brought terrible trouble to the shrine. What kind of troubles are you talking about? No, I don't know any details. But I heard that a visiting explorer and her manservant did something terrible inside the local Zambir. Oh god. Unleashed a curse, or so I heard. Now the High Priest, Niswo Somars, wants the woman to make it right. Does the woman have a name? I know who it is. Calls herself Lady Clarice Laurent. And yep. her manservant's name is Stibbons. Though they say he is not in good shape. If she's actually going to break the curse, she'll need help. But no one will go near her while the curse infests the Zanmir. I'll head to the shrine and talk to Lady Laurent. Must have more time on your claws than I do. Plus, it's mighty brave of you to go up against an ancient Argonian curse. Well, if you really want to help this Lady Laurent, you can find her near the shrine. It isn't too far from here. Can you tell me anything more about the curse? What's to tell? Argonian curses are nothing to take lightly, especially curses related to the ancient Zanmirs. So as soon as I heard about it, I vacated the area with all due haste. Well, that didn't tell me anything about the curse. Tell me more about this shrine. Ithwo Somars oversees the Glenbridge Shrine. The place is dedicated to Sithis and attracts Argonians from far and wide. Outsiders, too, for some reason. Maybe it's the Zanmir. There's one of those stone monstrosities close to the shrine. A Zanmir? You know, those great stone step pyramids that rise out of the Black Marsh swamps. Our misguided ancestors built them for some reason. The one near Glenbridge has always been a curiosity and was relatively safe to explore. Until the curse, that is. How do I get to the shrine? Just keep following the road. If you see a Zanmir, you're going in the right direction. And eventually, you'll hear Lady Laurent. She's rather loud as far as dry skins go. <laughs> yeah, she's probably yelling at Stibbons. That woman just uses him as a meat shield, anyways. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, maybe it, is that just a? Oh, that's just one of those flowers. 
We don't have to do this quest right now. We can just keep going if you want. Yep. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just not really in the mood to put up with Lady Laurent's shit today. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. Let's see if it... I wonder, if... I want to know who it was that we heard. Wait right here. I'm going to do a quick... I'm just going to do a quick... Uh, yeah. <gasps> Woo! Hey, there's a hill. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little quick recon. Yipe. Flowers with attitude. Oh, whoa! What the hell did you just... Oh, yeah, those those giant ticks. Well, I don't know what they're called. Oh, poor boars. Okay, come on. All right. Oops. I didn't even realize it. It was doing a, that drain thing like the um, Nyx hounds do, and it wasn't until I mean I noticed that I was almost dead. All right, let's see. Yes, hence I came down to join you. Okay, I don't see. I'm just trying to see if I can find who it was I heard talking. Hackwing, whatever Hackwing is, probably was a boss because it doesn't have a. Its health bar is empty. Where are you looking? Uh, towards that little rock formation. To, the, I saw something that said Hackwing. And I see Strangler, and then Hackwing. I see nothing. Well, I mean, I don't see anything. I just see the, uh -huh. the name. I was aiming my reticule between... The, um, let's see if I can find out where the ha where Hackwing is. Let's see. Oh, right here. Dead. Hackwing. What on... Oh, I was going to say, what on earth? <laughs> uh, look around. Hmm, I don't know who the heck that was that was talking. Because... Well, this was... I think this was the area where I heard him originally. It was right around here. Because there's the Argonian behemoth. Do we want to go kill it again? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Maybe we can get it to... Where, when it falls, we'll be able to see its face. Because that's my thing. I want to be able to see what, what its face looks like. Hoo, 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 hoo. Look at that critter. Well, that's not much. Whoa, there we go. Yep. Whoa, look yep. at that. That's nightmare fuel right there, folks. <laughs> I mean, that's that's terrifying. Uh, oh, wow. That was a fast little lizard. Well, Whose ever voice that was, I, I'm thinking they were an alchemist because the sound, if I remember right, they were saying something, something alchemical in nature. But I don't know because it de it okay. def yeah because it's def I didn't hear it. Yeah, I mean. Because it um, lounges on moss has a much has a deeper voice. 
Oh well. What is that up there? Is that a f one of them stupid flowers? Yep. Yep. What in the heck? Oh, runestone. Do you want a runestone? Oh, you get it. Well, all right. Okay, it's time to change my uh mount. Mount. Yeah. He was getting he was actually getting annoying. Uh, what do I want? Let's try. Let's do the Gloom Spore Horse for right now. I've got an elk too. I don't think I had. I can't remember if I had that one yet or not. Um, I think you should have it. Is that the one that comes with the um? What's it? It's uh, um. Which one is it? Hailstorm to veil vale out. Was the hailstorm the one to stop it? Right. Heed the words and tend to this matter. Riddles, really? Not helpful, priest. Not helpful at all. Can we kill her, please? I thought we weren't going to do this. Sorry, ignore for the moment. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go ahead and do it, we can. Here's me ignoring. <laughs> <laughs> let me. I'm gonna ch let me see. Um. Let's try this one. Maybe I'll like this one better. Maybe. Er, huh? I found a book. You found a book? I found a book. Signs of Blackwood. Oh, size. Size of Blackwood. Well, that's weird. It's weird when you see some of the Argonians with feathers. Was that the Hail Cinder Vale elk? Yeah. Okay. So that's Lady Laurent. Still no. I'm wondering if that quest has got something to do with the uh, plants. Who? Lady Laurent? The, yeah. Uh. I said I I didn't quite catch what they were talking about as we walked up, but I didn't either. About venom and such. Huh. Well, I mean, we still got... We seem to have quite a few of those plants right here. Well, do you want to uh, go ahead and do yeah. it? Nah? Yeah. Make oh. quest first. Okay. Main quest. Okay, so we're going to go to Blood Run Cave. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that a quest giver? No. <laughs> An abundance of stibbins. That's hilarious. God, that's terrifying. Does that mean he's either like really, really fat or he's what? been... Did you just get dismounted too? No, I, I dismounted on oh. my own because I saw you dismount. I thought you were getting ready to go into combat. No, I, I was dismounted. I don't know why. 
Wow. He's fast. He's fast and still filling his face. Ow. He hit. He okay. left. And... I need a moment. Okay. I'm just gonna pour a drink. Um... He he set up all this wow. too. Yeah. Man. It's, um, he's acquired a backpack with stuff. The stuff. A thousand one remedies for slaughterfish bites field guide. That sounds handy. Yeah, just don't get in the goddamn water with the slaughterfish. Yeah, that's the last one that's in in the book. Yeah, probably. Oh. You have to read the thousand other ones before you get to the simplest one. <laughs> yeah, that says just don't go in the water. No worries. We still got time. Yeah. My pig is rolling around on the rocks. Well, this stone road. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we go all the way to the north till the road forks. West till it forks. North till it runs out. So the road runs out? Yeah. It's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's a card. Mm-hmm. All I can say is I hope, my, I hope when I do um, set up my new uh, headset, hopefully it's more comfortable than this Razer one. This one makes a sore spot on the top of my head. So I usually have to end up t uh, shifting it back a ways. It's, it feels weird. Yeah. What the heck? That was a hack wing. What was a hack wing? Um, that oh. thing down there. It's like a cliff strider. Oh, it does kind of, doesn't it? Dead bird. <laughs> Exploded dead bird. Um, whatever this will be for you. Jute for me. Jute for me too. And it looks like here's more. You get that one. Okay. La 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 la. Spirit Hunter May Mayrineth? Let's I'm gonna talk to him. There is an aura of death about here. A quite dour and pervasive one at that. It's a good thing we found each other. I can patch you up in no time. Just need to identify the source of your spiritual malaise. Oh no, I have a spiritual malaise? <laughs> I feel fine. That may be so. But I've learned that spirits are crafty, and calling on them is often necessary. As my mentor, ghost hunting expert Claudina Ildane would say, it's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. 
especially with the dead. Wait a minute. Claudina. Claudina. Yeah. Oh, God. What happened to Blondie? She get herself killed? Probably. What should I do? Well, the next step is complicated. I need to identify the spiritual passenger you are dealing with. Have you been in any locations rife with death lately? Terrifying cave or haunted ruin? A forsaken forest, perhaps? Uh, cave and a ruin. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say a ruin. The ghosts of civilization are almost always riddled with spirits stuck remembering their old lives. Some are malicious, some are amicable. Did you meet anything specific between the crumbling walls? Hmm. What did uh, we... What was it that we met in the ruin? That was beasts and monsters. Beasts and monsters. Yeah. I thought I sensed something savage about you. <clears throat> Your passenger covets a hunt. Death was not enough to sate their bloodlust, even though the hunt is over. Now on to you. How are you feeling? Hmm. <laughs> Excited. I was going to say, I'm feeling excited. Of course. You are afflicted with a traveler-type spirit. These entities seek those with a passion for adventure. In extreme cases, their influence towards recklessness has been known to lead to their host death. Shall I begin the Crimson Rite? <laughs> no. I'll keep my spirit. Very well. As Claudina would say... I admire the questioning nature of a skeptic and look forward to continuing our discussion when next we meet. Of course, they're usually not alive for the second meeting. But maybe your fate will be different. Hmm. Did you tell her to, to cleanse you? Yeah. Uh, no, I, to I told her to keep it. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering what would happen. Well, I'm going to find out. It's not like we actually... It's not... Oh, we don't get the option. Lost souls flutter all around. Mm, that so we don't have the option to uh, do it again. That's fine. I wanted to keep the spirit anyways. I guess we're gonna come across her again. Probably. I think it's gonna surprise to me as a second time. Hmm, some, there's a couple of salamanders. All I know, all I know is this little area right here. This one tells me there's just something to get. Just it just looks like it's, you know, there might be something to harvest. Probably won't be just because I want it that way. And of course, there was nothing. There's a fish in spot. That, that's out there though. This is Mother Nature's way of going. <laughs> Dummy. Yep. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh. Well, that was fun. Not really, but poor little salamanders. Poor little salamanders. No such thing. Oh, I see. Look, it looks like it might be pewter. Yep. Here's some pewter. I need pewter. And I saw a rune stone. Where did I see it? Ah, over here. Okay. Mm 
Okay, so... I run as fast as a deer! Faster! Well, maybe not. Stephanus Sensor what is that? Sensornius? Sensorinus? Who else? Would... <laughs> I want my sp I want that spear. <laughs> I just want to knock him off that cliff edge. What is she doing? So much to do, so little time. What are you people looking at? Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. The statue. The person holding the sword up. Tell me you can see that. Well, where are you looking? I'm looking at past at the, build, at the, at the building. Yeah. Maybe you don't have your graphics set as... I can't... No, it's my eyes. I can't tell that it's a person holding this order. Oh, okay. I was gonna... I was gonna say... This... Oh, that's debris here. There's a couple of waterfalls. Hmm. It's a spot called Sariel's sword. Oh, yeah! a specialist crafting area. It is, isn't it? Yep. Let me guess, you're wanting to go over there? Which we certainly can do. Ah, uh, drop off! Oh, that was cool! I never noticed that before. Um, he, uh, when I was coming down that hillside, he brought his arm out. Uh-huh. To, I guess, stabilize himself. Kind of like bull riders do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's a, uh... Heme Jaws. Above. Um... How do you get to Heme Jaws? Let's see. Let me go this way. They're not, they're not making it easy for you to get to them. I would have to go up this little path here. I just almost ran into a couple of Twilight Matriarchs. Oh, another distraction. Where? Where'd it go? Ah. There's the quest marker. But what if we are wrong? Not even my strength can hold back an entire brigade. Just stay out of it, Himjas. We have lost too many lives already. Yours need not be included. I'm just looking at the way he's dressed and I'm expecting him to go... A bodger. A budge. A budge. Frenzy Drench! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna talk to him. Ah, you look I'm already strong talking. and capable. I could use your help. Man, look at them between my scrawny arms. And the Imperials you've set up camp nearby are close to a breaking point. While I often solve issues with my Wamasu like strength, I fear it will not be enough here. What's going on? Members of my tribe have gone missing. We captured an Imperial lieutenant to question him about it, but everyone is so angry already. If my tribe executes him before we actually get to the bottom of this, it will only make things worse. What do you need from me? 
what this situation needs is an outsider's perspective. My people are too enraged to think clearly, and the lieutenant will not talk to us anyway. We need someone outside the tribe to mediate. You would be compensated, of course. What do you say? I'll talk to the lieutenant and find out what happened to your missing people. I am sure our combined heroism will save my tribe from this plight. The Imperial Lieutenant is just ahead. While you speak with him, I will head to the Northern Swamps to continue investigating. Meet me there when you are finished. Who were you arguing with just now? Ah, that was Olek, a member of the tribe and a good friend. He is adamant that the Imperials are responsible for our missing people, but does not think I should involve myself. His opinion is shared by many, sadly. Why? My heroic deeds have caused a few mishaps of late. In addition, everyone is convinced of the Imperials' guilt. But an intelligent, seasoned adventurer such as myself is more skeptical, mainly because he uh, has no evidence. <laughs> what else could be uh, taking your people? No idea, but hopefully speaking with the lieutenant will shed some light on that. If his people are innocent, then he might help guide us to the real enemy. And if they are not, then I will strike them down with the power of a grotto. Why are tensions so high between your tribe and the Imperials? The Imperials from Leowin have been expanding their territory eastward for some time. Now they creep like moss on the edges of what my tribe considers our land. At first, they were just a nuisance. We assumed the swamp would deal with them in time. Did they threaten you? No, just the opposite. They wish to work with us to help expand their holdings and offer valuable goods in trade. But my tribe turned their tails at them. Too many times our people have been pushed from our homes with fake promises. What happened then? The Imperials left us alone, but refused to leave the area. Eventually, tension turned to arguments shortly after members of our tribe began to vanish. It was like flame to a dry tree. Alright. So, what do you feel like doing? It's only oh. up there. Okay. Here's a uh, runestone. Only up here. Go ahead. This is what you call skill. <laughs> the way I got that room stone. Oh. It was on top of that rise and I was down below. It was digging into the dirt. We told him yes to stop trying to recruit strangers for this. He will not listen. I want to look at these people. Who? I think I want to talk to the Argonians first. Just in case I don't have the opportunity to do it afterwards. Oh. So I'm going to talk to... I guess it's Auden? Let's see. These Imperials show up and suddenly our people go missing. Hist, take me. This is no coincidence. If you're here to help, you should kill this dry skin outright. Alrighty. Odile Ito. After we punish this Imperial, I shall claim his shoes as my own. What? They are finally made. <laughs> and what is that? Nuvui? I don't know why Himjas attempts to find help to absolve the Imperials of their obvious guilt. He showed up a month ago and has insisted on performing heroic acts. Despite our in 
insistence that we have no need for them. Well, all right, let's talk to Brigadine Lieutenant Viria. Or I guess since this is actually a British game, <laughs> with people usually talking Lep in British, I should say Lieutenant. <laughs> Brigadine Lieutenant Viria. Well, no, because the Imperials oh, are kind of a Roman basis. I already they told would you. be using Latin oh. roots. <laughs> Wait, you're not from this tribe, are you? Thank you, uh, Vines. I've tried to tell how the Romans that my brigands have nothing to do mm -hmm. with that their particular people, but they won't listen. Let's see. Uh, you can talk to me now. What's going on here? I'm an officer in Leowin's Ivory Brigade. We've been trying to expand trade routes out here, but we're not kidnapping people. My brigandines are missing too. I was pursuing a lead to find them when I got ambushed and thrown in this cage. What lead? I was investigating the great number of beasts that have started congregating by the water's edge. It's like they've taken over. Nothing about it seems natural. My theory is that those monsters are responsible for our missing people. How so? They're vicious, and the sheer number of them all at once is undoubtedly lethal. But my commander is skeptical. He thinks the Argonians are retaliating for us getting too close to their territory. And if he gets wind of this, he'll respond in kind. Okay, so now I have to talk to Olaf. Outsider, this Imperial speaks lies. Our people did not vanish until they arrived. I understand that Hinjas asked for your help, but he can be overzealous. We have the situation under control. Our prisoner feigns ignorance, but he does not tell the whole truth. This dry skin was found trespassing in our swamps to the north. He claims he was looking for his missing people. Always excuses with these Imperials. First they show up claiming to seek trade. When we ask that they leave, they camp near our borders, and more arrive each day against our wishes. Suddenly our people go missing. This is no coincidence. Why would the Imperials take your people? I wish I knew. There is a supposed peace between my people and the Imperials. Keshu the Blackfin ensures that. But that does not mean some do not still break rank, especially if they want to lay claim on a new land. But why not just attack us? Himjaw seems to want to figure that out. Himjaw is enthusiastic to a fault. He thinks himself a hero, but usually just ends up getting himself into more trouble. This is no different. If you insist on helping, then I suggest you drag him out of the northern swamps before he hurts himself. <laughs> so now we, oh. sounds more and more like torture the more we find out <laughs> right there's a uh, way shrine just right up here uh, Hutan Zell yeah I can even see it and then we can go find Heme Jaws thinking now that we're on this side of the river we can go and get that crafting spot oh okay yeah she says that she's pretty much already there uh, there's a lizard bear down there there's also some pewter yeah safe uh, down here I was gonna say I'll, I'll I'll get the pewter you get the bear <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Oh, no, that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. Now, the lizard bear's head looks an awful lot like that Argonian what's-it. I think it does. I mean, not exactly, but uh, enough. Hmm. 
What is... No. That couldn't be. It's probably just me hoping. It looks like an eyelid crystal. No, oh, I was hoping it was a sky shard. Ah. ah! And I was trying to go around to see if, if there was a way in. It doesn't look like it. Jeez, how f I go a little ways. Let's see, what is this? Woodworking. Do I have anything to deconstruct? Nope. Excuse. Oh, it's just a well. It's an alid well inside That's there. No, you said a crystal. Well, you said... the thing in it is a is a crystal, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I've never looked down inside one. So. It's a good question. Well, here's the statue with the sword now. You should be able to see it. I'm nowhere near you. I'm deconstructed. You're right in front of it, Goofy. I'm focusing on fucking spots where I can. <laughs> You're like, I can't. It's, like, uh, it's like, I can't see it. It's like, how could you not? <laughs> uh, there's a book as well, by the way. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh. There's a book, huh? Yeah, up near the eyelid. I wonder why I didn't see it. I don't know. I think I have any jewelry. No, I do have that one little pewter ring. And I didn't get anything from it. Uh, right, so, yes, book. Uh, did you spot it yet? Uh, no. Oh, okay. The Liberation of Leowin. I was kind of hoping there'd be a clothing station here, but nope. Uh, there is. Oh, oh you mean a clothing Cost station to adjust? Yeah. No, you, you don't get those at the uh, crafting stations. I could have sworn there was one that had one. I mean, I could be wrong, but I could have sworn that the last one we went to had one. Well, like I said, I could, I could be wrong. It, it was a clothing station. It wasn't an outfit station. Oh. Subtle but important difference. Just looking at the way shrine. It's got... Uh, uh, Aztec influence? I think. Is it Aztec or Inca? I think it's Aztec. That's, that's some sort of South American tribe. Yeah. I th nothing else. I think it's I think it's got Aztec influence. Alright, so we're going to go meet Hemjaws in the swamp. Yay. Wow. 
Whoa. Why is that glowing? Okay. Very green crocodile work. But the one that I was looking at. Yeah, I was wondering why it was glowing. Is it a... Whoa, there's other stuff in here that's glowing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, the first thing I thought of is uh, a boss, kind of. Yeah. It wasn't it? Wasn't it um, in WoW, where some of them uh, would would be glowing? There's a goo. I see that. Whoa. I would perhaps suggest not trying to sneak up on it because you have no idea which is its face. Well, I have a 50-50 shot. Yeah, ah! Turned around. <laughs> hey! Excuse you! You wait your turn! Voraplasm. Here's a uh, room stone. Whoa. Look at the top of the of that it's like a, if it, yeah. it's like if it were a green uh sky shard yeah all right oh he does there you are this is where our investigation begins let us look around let us footprints Footprints? These, these, these are imperial tracks. Where do you see glowing footprints? Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks like a paint. Yeah, they haven't really got the hang of footprints, have they? Uh, iron ore. Iron ore what? Iron ore. Or what? Is there? <laughs> it. It's kind of like what's gone. Yep. I can't help it. I can't help it. I want to go get them. Yay! of those just here or what now where's the other one going just right here imperial tracks uh, where are you? Huh? Water. Where are this you? This is where I gallantly apprehended the lieutenant. We are on the Where track. are uh, you? Hang on. Dialogue. Okay. Um, I'm on... I want to... I was headed towards the arrow that was telling me to search for clues. Uh, what stopped you? What stopped me? Nothing. Okay, so looks like the next. Whoops. Uh, 
Uh, I'll take the hack wing. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say they are. Yep. And mangled corpses. They don't look too mangled. Argonian, Argonian and imperial corpses. It looks like they were fighting back to back, defending themselves. Their wounds are jagged too. Perhaps we will find survivors farther up this way. Well, let's see. Um, I think, is that pewter? Just kind of sticking out? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a totem. I was going to say, what's that big yellow thing down there? I thought it was something else. Just a totem. Do, 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 do. It's bright, I can't see. It's bright, I can't see. Oh. Excuse you? Attacking me like that? How, like, um, incredibly rude? Die? We use to yep. die mm -hmm. for rituals. Is this what woke those totems? Let us follow the footprints. Let us follow the footprints. As we start here. What about the runestone? Aren't you gonna get it? Grab it then. Uh, I hit level eight. Congrats. How you... far away from, from eight are you? Um, 
Uh, 19%. Okay. That's still, that's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, let me see. Do I have any... Let's see. There. That's only for one hour. XP boost. This is the largest of those totems I mentioned earlier. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's talk to him, Joss. I think I understand. These totems, the, the dye was used to paint runes upon them, which must have activated their latent magic. But those runes are only known to this tribe. The Imperials could not have done this. It had to be one of our own. What do the runes do? With these runes, whoever is responsible turned this totem and the others into very powerful rulers. That explains the excess of creatures coming out of the swamp. They would be drawn out in droves by this kind of magic. Why would someone do that? I do not know. It is incredibly dangerous. Even with someone as skillful as me protecting the tribe, these creatures do not discriminate who they hunt. We need to stop them. How do we do that? I am not sure. My brute strength and fortitude do not lend themselves easily to the inner workings of tribe magic. But perhaps fortitude is all we need. Let us try smashing it. You go first. I will save my strength in case we have need of it. <laughs> That's convenient. Uh, yes. Okay. I talk to him again. Despite my yelping, I was not afraid. I assure you, there is no shame in being frightened. Of course, if you were alarmed, do not worry. You are safe with me. Anyway, that was a great effort on your part. But perhaps hitting it is not enough. What do we do now? This is now beyond my capability. I believe the magic of these totems and the secret them would be known by the elder of my tribe, Naish Nurwal. I think we need to speak to her if we are to learn anything more. Where is Naish Nurwal? She should be back in the village. I will head there first and explain the situation, but I believe you should speak with her as well. Naish Nurwal um, does not always take my counsel. I will meet you there. Alright. I will return and speak to Naish Nurwal. Meet me there when you can. That's a long ways down. Yep. Do, 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 do. Anything in here? Ah! <laughs> I just saw that spot and I thought, you know what? That looks like some place where they might hide something. And I step in there. I look to the left and then I look to the right and see two bog dogs. Bad dogs. No biscuit. And nothing really over here. But I have to go and loot that. I found some blue entomola. Entomola. I found some mushrooms. 
I'm just looking at the bog dog. What are they doing? Tripping out. Bah! This is where you fall down. Apparently not. Hello? <laughs> okay, well, that works. It's here. Hmm, that was deeper than I was expecting. Where'd you go? Bodies of Imperials and our own? Yes, fighting together, and their wounds were jagged, as if they were from mighty beasts. Hinjas, if this is another story, Nahish Nawul, I will go verify the truth of this claim. All right, I'll talk to her. I appreciate your willingness to help, outsider. But you must understand, King Joss has a strong heart, but he often invents problems in order to test his heroism. This matter with the Imperials is likely simpler than he insists. Actually, one of your people is responsible for the missing people, both Argonian and Imperial. The idea that one of our own caused so much pain, it is as hard to chew as thick bark. Is what Heen Joss said about the bodies true? Please, tell me all that you know. Someone used magical runes to turn totems into lures, which attracted creatures from the swamp. The creatures in the swamp are incredibly vicious, even in small doses. It's no wonder so many have fallen prey. It seems our prisoner was not lying to us. Those totems are ancient and very powerful. Meddling with them is quite dangerous. Uh, we tried destroying the largest one, but failed. The one at the top of Zal Irisotl? I'm not surprised. Dismantling lures as powerful as this will require going inside the Zanmir. Unfortunately, as time abandons all Irisotl, its depths filled with nightmarish horrors. Then what should we do? We have no choice but to venture inside the Zanmir. But we do not have enough people to do so safely. We have lost too many of our warriors. You are here as a mediator. Perhaps you could convince the Imperials to assist us in this matter. I can try. Good. Hopefully he will be willing to appeal to his superiors. Regardless, I will make sure he is freed. Take this. It is a ward that will unlock the main entrance of Zal Irisotl. I will gather as many warriors as I can and meet you there. I'll speak to the lieutenant and see, and then enter Zal Aristotle. Gods, this can't be happening. All right, Br Brigadine Lieutenant Viria. I heard what was discussed. I can hardly believe it. They were so quick to pin the blame on us, and the whole time it was one of their own people. I suppose it doesn't matter now. We've all lost friends. What we need to do is fix this. Do you think your people would be willing to help the Argonians enter the the Zonmir? The Ivory Brigade is far from petty. I'm sure there will be some who are unhappy about it, but even they will understand the need to work together in order to stop this. I'll speak with my commander if I'm free to go. I'm sure I can convince him. He moves around a lot. I think he has to pee. Yeah. The Argonians will free you. Go speak to your captain. My apologies on behalf of my tribe, Lieutenant. Let us get you out of there. I will meet you at the ruins. OK, 
Okay, well, um, you want to call it here? No, you still want to play. Want to go do what? Uh, yeah, go to the ruins. Oh, yeah, we can go. We can go to the ruins. Unless you want to stop. Well, I mean, we can play a little bit more. I just thought maybe we can, you know. How long have you been? How long have you been dreaming? Two hours. Yeah. All right, because I was going to say we could always, we could always get on a different team. Because we haven't really done much, have we? Mm -mm. Of these two today, so far. The entrance to Zal Irisato should be along the bottom of the structure. Let us hurry. Homespun Jerkin of Health. Let me check on that real quick. Yep, I'm because I'm just wearing a homespun jerkin. So that I've got oh I got I also got rawhide boots of health. Oh that that's yeah, I'm gonna go see about this uh bog dog. There we go. Thank you. I'll just step right here and take and take my level. All right. I'll come closer. So that way it'll be easier. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Choose one. Oh, crafting boxes again. Um. I'll do the Taylor one again. All right, uh, Magicka, and one skill point. Well, let's see. What's that? Oh. Huh, I'm trying to decide. Oh, here's light fingers. Increases your chance of successfully pickpocketing. I'll take that. Okay. There, the door. I uh, yes, I know that's the door. <laughs> he is. That was just incredibly bright. That was so bright. Oh, it is quite dark in here. Why don't you lead? <laughs> oh, well, no, that's not too big. There's two undead. Anything? I wonder what that's supposed to be. I figure it's gonna be one, one of two things. It's either meat or it's uh, maybe like leather strips. Jerky. It could be jerky. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I can't get that close to it. If it was jerky, I want all of it. 
But unfortunately, you can't loot it. Hmm? Ultimate abilities. Well, I can't do that now. What were you saying about it? There's a frog up there. A frog? Frog. It's, it's oh, yeah. I see it now. Yep, you see it? Yep. And there's fish. Okay, yeah, so it is. Okay, so let's see. Look at the map. It doesn't matter because this is just a square. Well, what did you just do? Okay, so. Viroplasmic Corpse. Teleport Strike can now be morphed. Well, I don't have the skill points for that. Um, did you shoot at the Fetcher Fly? Oh, I, yep. I was just firing off the stack. Okay, so we need to be careful when we tread in here. Careful? That takes all the fun out of it, though. We just have to skip any shiny bits we see on the floor. Curse you relics. Why will you not stop? Olet did it, huh? Injustice. Oh, yeah. I am you sorry. Did this. Well, I'm gonna talk to Olek. I cannot disable the lures, no matter how hard I try. My touch causes them to fade, yet they return within seconds. When I take my axe to the stone, my blade only dulls. I blame the Imperials for our missing people. I was a fool. Why did you do it? I was trying to protect my people. Too many times dry skins have come to our swamps in an attempt to claim them. These Imperials seemed no different. I hoped to frighten them. I activated the totems to try and chase them off. Heemja said they've they've been turned into lures. Yes. Our people once used them as a means to gather food and resources. When the totem is active, creatures are drawn to its aura like a kotugaba to blood. You didn't think there was a connection between the lures and your missing people? I did not know how dangerous this ancient magic truly was. I did not understand my actions were the cause of all this. Not until I heard about the bodies you and Heemjoss found. And once I realized... It was already too late. But you came here to try and fix things anyway? Yes, but it is impossible. Nothing I do works. The magic replenishes itself within mere moments. I am truly sorry. We should evacuate our people to Gideon before Hutan Zell is overrun. Help is coming. Help is here, my friend. Let us begin. Nahish Nurwu. And the Imperials? I'm sorry. This is my fault. The time for blame can come later. We're here to help. Alright, now I'm going to talk to Nahish Nurwul. Olik's actions were foolish. These lures have lain dormant for a reason. The magic within them is dangerous. Still, the actions of the past cannot change the present. What is done cannot be undone. But we can ensure that no one else gets hurt. How do we do that? A ritual. 
To dismantle the lures, they must be touched above ground and below within a few moments of one another. It requires an act of unison. Perhaps it is a test from those that came before us. A lesson of sorts. Now it falls to us to learn it. How do we coordinate above and below? The Imperials agreed to post their soldiers above ground. They're already in position and awaiting orders. Once you activate a lure below, its partner above the surface will flicker, signaling the Imperials to act. Do you understand? Yes, but what will you be doing? I will return above to coordinate our efforts. If something were to go wrong, I want to be able to help remedy it. You and Hinjas must dismantle the lures down here and rejoin us when you are finished. Good luck to you, outsider. And thank you. Hinjas and I will handle the lures down here. Thank you. We will fix this, Ulrich. Do not worry. Well, we only have one way to go. Right where? Why, did you see something? Yeah, the one we were at. Hmm? The one we were at. Oh. I, I disabled it. Oh, there was one to disable right here? Yeah, the one that we came to. Oh, I thought that was something different. Because it doesn't, it didn't look like the others. We actually haven't seen the laws yet. Because the laws are down here. Those lightning bolts suck, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> you're just fighting, you're not doing too bad, and then a crash from the heavens, and you're dead. Again. There looks to be a trap there. Yeah. <laughs> I did that deliberately, thinking okay. may maybe I might, maybe it might do damage to the uh, skeleton. He whimpered. So we can disable him? Well, that was interesting. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way we go because we're just going to be going in a square. Wait, you had to do that as well? Yeah. Uh, then I probably need to go back and do this one. So, hang on. I'll be back. Alrighty. I thought you could no, I, I thought it was going to be one of those one of those things where it was a community thing. You know, one of us does it and it counts for both. Uh-huh. But apparently not. That got close. It seems the Imperials up above are succeeding as well. All right. Yeah, I had about three or four enemies on me. Yeah. Hmm. I heard sound hisses. We did too. Which way do you want to go? Left or right? I'm it's guessing right. that way. Yep. 
Ew. I don't know if that's slime puke or slime diarrhea. I don't want either one of them on me. Daily endeavor completed. I infected 20 enemies with poison. Nice. <laughs> it did! It did work! <laughs> I think I said he... I don't know, I heard me. I, I'm not sure if I was yelling or he was. It looked like it was me, but I didn't get anywhere near it. Near the flames. I think I, I was trying to burn uh, heme jaws. That was the last one. Now I will make a swift, daring exit and run back to the village. Meet you there. <laughs> In other words, I'm going to run back to the village with my tail between my legs as fast as I can. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oops, come on. There we go. I was going to say, what is with you psychopaths and sending us there with no way to get down? <laughs> and you just jump instead of using the stairs. So we have to return to the village. As well as my tribe's friendship. Thank you. I assure you, we will do everything in our power to make sure this is the start of a prosperous friendship between our people. A great success. We are victorious and strong and all mostly intact. <laughs> right, I'll talk to Nahish. The totems have fallen silent above ground. I assume you and Heem Joss were also successful from below. The beast should move on now. I do not think they will trouble us any more than they did before all this. We will all be safe. Are things resolved between you and the Imperials now? In large part because of your efforts, we were able to find common ground and the desire to communicate. I have personally apologized for our responsibility for the bloodshed. And they have been gracious enough to accept my sincerity. What's going to happen to Olik? Olik was trying to Olik. protect his people, and we understand that. But his actions cost lives on both sides, and for that he must be punished. It pains me, but it is necessary. Olik understands, and he will face his punishment bravely. I see. You have my enduring gratitude, Traveler. Should your adventures ever bring you this way again, know that you may call us allies. I think Himjas was looking for you. Be sure to say your farewells to him before you continue your journey. Okay, well, where is it? He's right here. The tribe will be telling stories of this for many years to come, I am sure. The mighty Himjas with his faithful partner slashing through horrors of the dark.
darkness of ancient ruin without a shred of fear. Thank you for your help, friend. What will you do now? The tribe will flourish now that we are no longer fighting with the Imperials. As for me, I will continue performing heroic deeds across the coast. Great heroes like us never stay in one place too long. <laughs> Wish you luck, Heem Jaws. Please, take this. Not only did you fight bravely, but you ensured a truce between my tribe and the Imperials. You saved many lives today. I will make sure no one leaves you out of the grand stories of our heroism. <laughs> we did it, friend. We fearlessly pursued the truth, cut through our foes with Wamasu-like strength bested our enemies, and came out victorious. And I did not get terribly injured. This is a great day. Are you angry with Olik? No. Though I imagine some will be. I happen to understand what it is like to be impulsive and overconfident at times. I see why he did it. And in my heart, I know I can forgive him. Whether he can forgive himself is a different matter. What about the Imperials? Were they will they forgive Olik? That I am not sure. But the fact that they put aside their grief and anger in order to help us in the moon makes me believe that they understand better than I would have anticipated. I hope they forgive him, and that relations between us flourish. <laughs> I am the mighty Heem Jaws Thunderboots. <laughs> yeah. Tell me he does not remind you of a, an Argonian version of Mizzic Thunderboots. Uh huh. <laughs> Mizzic. Actually, actually, no. Mizzic is. Uh, Mizzic doesn't seem to be afraid of things like he does. Oh, Mizzic is afraid. But he doesn't, he's not overtly so. Yeah, he, he doesn't cower and goes, this one is all right. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and, do you want to close it down now? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm just watching. Uh, watching them the play. One of, one of the villagers doing, doing a cadwell. But with a ball. Yeah, instead of a... Uh, pumpkin or a gourd a rock one at that yeah what I want to know is why is this nor just cheering so heavily I mean he's cheering a lot harder for what he's actually doing maybe he just trained he just taught the Algonian how to do it and is encouraging his skills. We'll go with that. Because that doesn't look like something, you know, the Argonian people would normally do. I don't even think Argonians yeah. would have a ball. Where would you bounce it in the swamps? <laughs> what looking Imperial? Who, the Nord? Or bo both of them? They're both Imperials. Oh, they're both Imperials? Yeah, they're both Brigadines. Their outfits are kind of cool. They are. They almost look like what I would imagine uh, the Dawn Guard would wear. Yeah. It looks more, you know, we kill vampires type stuff. Kind of yeah. like, kind of like they would get their armor from vampires. Yeah. You know, that they kill. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to get myself <sighs> off of here. Get myself logged out. Let's see. What do we have? What did we get now? Oh. Um. No, I don't want to do that one because I lose experience points gained from kills. Oh, I was say skills. Yeah, it was telling me about that. All right, logging out. It's still creepy. Those goggles. 
But if I can do something with it, if I can color the lenses, that would be kind of awesome. I'm, I'll see. Um, yeah. Maybe color, see if I can color them red or yellow or something. I don't know. Ugh. All right. Wait for us to get to the uh, character screen. And the stream did very well. Yeah. Yeah, it was only like about three to five seconds behind. Yeah. So. Doing okay. Yeah. So, all right, folks. Well, that's going to do it. That was episode five of me and Mary's stream of us just running around causing problems. <laughs> So, which apparently turns out that we're fixing problems. Yeah, I know. Does doesn't quite sit right with me. <laughs> yeah, well, that that's kind of why I was kind of uh, thinking we should do the thieves guild, at least get that get the thieves guild and the dark brotherhood started. You know, just at yeah. least to where you complete the first the first part. Because that way, that way you'll have access to all the stuff, and that way we could, you know, do, do a little bit more damage. We can but, do it off stream, I suppose, could we? Um, if we want, yeah, we could do, yeah, just as long as we made sure we didn't do anything else. Yeah. Because we want to keep, you know, we don't want to do too much. Yeah. I need to figure out uh, where we go to pick up uh, the female companion's quest line. I don't know where the dude is. Oh, I, you'll have to look that up. I don't have a clue. Obviously. Uh, I looked up the dudes. I looked up, looked up the dudes. So what is it? The um, if you're a male character, you have you have a male companion and vice no. versa. Oh, so you can have either no, male. Up. Nice. All right. Well, choose which one. Uh, in the same way that you pick up um, your assistant when, when you want him to sell stuff, you can mm. just pull them out, sell your stuff, put them away. Ah, so they're in your follower pocket. Um, they're in your allies section. That's not. That just kind of went right over your head, didn't it? No, I'm just trying not to laugh because it's making my mouth hurt. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get off here and we could play some more if you want. Um, I don't know. All right, so, all right, guys, that's going to do it until Wednesday. So, thank you, everyone. Um... Hope you had a good time. I know I did. And I'm sure Mary had some fun, even though she wasn't feeling 100%. Yeah, I had fun. I just don't sound like I'm having fun. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, folks, that's going to do it. So, thank you again. And um, I hope you'll join me. Actually, probably join me. And then I'm sure eventually Mary will show up uh, Wednesday uh, for a new stream. And um, we'll see you then, folks. So, would you, would you like me to say anything to the audience? If you would like to say something, go right ahead. Oh, I was trying to get you to say Wh something. What? What did I miss? <laughs> oh, what? Say, just say something. Yeah, go ahead and say something, and you'd be like something. Something. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm getting tired myself, so I'm not all the way here. I'm starting I'm starting to yawn already. Yeah, I didn't sleep I didn't sleep well. No, I've I've not slept well for the last two nights with mm. But, but and, hopefully by Wednesday it will have cleared up. Hopefully. And I'll be back to my usual happy jolly talkative self. Right. <laughs> All right, folks, well, that's going to do it. So take care, everyone. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. 
Say goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Mary. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> See you, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye.